Greetings and salutations to you all my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentleman Gaming and welcome back to Grand Strategy Sunday and Crusader Kings 2 in real life. Last time on the show, Emin Mirza became his own man. He became a man in his own right, stopped doing what everyone else told him to do, primarily his uncle. Where has his uncle gone? He's here somewhere. Where are you? Uh, there. No, wait, where are you? There you are. Sheikh Abdul Jalil. Where we have sent him far, far away from our realm in order to stop his interfering and his meddling in our affairs. We became a strong, proud man in our own right. I mean, not really proud or anything like that, but more like, you know, we're not weak let's put it that way we're not super strong but we're not super weak but i think that the childhood that emir Mirza had has gonna is gonna start to affect him a little bit more this episode our wife is pregnant she has a child on the way i think that the way we uh deal with that child and handle that child may change quite a bit going forward with this guy as well and also some other things. I think that we might want to look for a new wife today as well because we do like our wife. She's, she, you know, we have a we have an okay opinion of her, but we don't really love her. This was this was a this was a marriage that was made by my grandmother who passed away, and my uncle didn't break that. He he wanted to. He he really did want to. He wanted to marry me to one of my cousins just to try and tie his line in a little bit stronger to ours, just in case he wasn't able to wrestle power away from us or we had a child before he became the ruler, for instance. But we we, we never got that done because we couldn't. And then when we became an adult, I, I figured that we were strong enough that we wouldn't listen to him anymore. So, yeah, there's a whole thing. You can go back and watch the last episode, I think it is. I explained my thinking a little bit more behind that. But I think that what we're going to do first thing today is we're going to go out and we're going to try and find ourselves a, 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 a new wife. Maybe. I still haven't decided whether I want to do that straight off or not yet. Because once the kid comes, maybe I will love my wife a little bit more. I'm probably not going to go and get married while my wife is pregnant, I think. So I think that that's something that we're going to look at after the child comes and see how I feel about it then. You know, I am still only 18, although for the, uh, you know, 10th century, that is probably middle-aged. But we will have a look at that. Also, something else I want to start doing is we are a brilliant strategist and a defender. So we might want to start looking at some more military buildings. So one, for instance, would be like castle fortifications, castle walls, because I am a defender. Uh, maybe some other things that help towards logistics and stuff like that, like training grounds once we have like the walls and the fortifications in place we can start building training grounds which is something that i might want to do because i am a strategist so that makes sense you know so i think that that's something we're going to start looking to do today we're going to go around our realm start building some of these also one other thing that we can build are forts we might want to start building some forts as well because as i said I am a defender. So that's probably what we're going to be getting on with today in the background. Building those buildings and... Wait, I've just seen... What do I own in Damascus? Oh, is it? it's this guy again. So, yeah, this guy he has that is for some reason under my rule that I still never figured out. I couldn't fathom that. But yeah, so he owns something here and he also owns something here. And he also has claims on something down here. So this guy has a lot. 
Right, sorry, I, I got a bit distracted. I was just curious as to why I had something in Damascus. That was a little bit odd. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, building and things like that. That's what we're going to be getting on with in the background today, I think. Wait for our child to be born. See where we want to go from there with regards to a new wife. I definitely have some ideas with regards to what we're going to do with the child. But... I will speak about that a little bit more at the time when that comes. But other than that, we're just going to see if anything crops up. Maybe we might be able to take a new ambition. Nothing really fits with us just yet. But uh, we'll see how that changes moving forward. Oh, more proof that my uncle is out to get me. See, more proof. He's tried to make Khan Korilirate. <clears throat> okay. Uh, realize what I'm a dead. benevolent and peaceful ruler I am. The sinister fortresses that he's caught have been hard at work to discredit my every move and distort my every word. I'm afraid that in the end the visit seems to have done more harm than good. Yeah, I bet you were the sinister force that tried to do that. So his opinion is going to go down on me. Uh, that's why I sent him so far away, so that anything he did didn't really matter. Because I know he's not particularly good at his job. So I knew that he wasn't going to do very well, but I just wanted him far away from my court, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I, in my head canon, he's the one that's messed that up, really. So I have discovered a plot. Well, I haven't. My spy master did. But uh, Rashwana, whoever this person is. Oh, it's my aunt, isn't it? It's my aunt. My aunt is trying, is plotting to kill me. And uh, she has two backers. That's not great. This is the guy that has all of the things. Can I revoke those from you? I can. I can take those off of you. Hmm, okay, so, first things first, can I ask you to stop? Right, you will stop backing it. Damn, I was hoping you were going to say no, and then I could put you in prison and take those titles off of you. But, is there anything in me that suggests I would... No, I'm temperate. Yeah, I would very much temper restraint here, wouldn't I? So, I will ask you to stop backing it. I will ask you to stop backing it. And, of course, you're going to say yes. But, I mean, I think I should be allowed to imprison this person. Oh, you're in hiding, aren't you? That's why. Well, I'm going to ask you to end it. So you should end it anyway. But yeah, see? So that's my uncle's wife. My aunt. My aunt is trying to kill me. And I, and I bet you know who put her up to this, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, we know. We know who put her up to this. I am, I'm very, very, yeah, I'm, I'm not particularly pleased with you, uncle. I know what you're doing behind the scenes. First you start trying to steal my land, steal my life, and then steal my childhood. And then you, you mess up the relations with uh, someone else in another realm. And now you're getting your wife to plot to kill me. Oh, that my, my uncle is a bit of an asshole, really, isn't he? So apparently, this guy isn't gonna withdraw his support. And now I have a righteous imprisonment. So I can imprison this guy. Now, I don't like him, and I don't like him enough that I would do this. So, and I gave him the chance. I found out that my aunt was trying to kill me. She's back down. 
the other guy back down, this is the only guy that didn't. I gave him the chance to back down and say, hey, dude, you know, well, I mean, you don't say dude, but you know, you, this isn't cool. I found out what's going on. You need to stop immediately and you need to pledge your allegiance to me. Bend the knee. And this guy has said no directly to my face. So I think I should try and imprison him. Because he says no. And he didn't say, he didn't just say no. He said no in a very aggressive way. May you be sewn up alive in the belly of a dead camel. I cannot have that. Now, I am not a scared man. I am temperate, yes. But my tempered restraint was not arresting him straight away. My tempered restraint was asking him to stop and say, withdraw this and bend the knee again. He has said no. So I am a defender. I am a, 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 a fighty kind of person. So I think I would give, I think I would go for it. I think I would arrest this guy. I'm going to do it. He's now safely locked away in my dungeon. So he is now in my dungeon. Now, I'm pretty sure I can start revoking titles from him. See, it's only going to lower his opinion. Nothing else. So yeah. I think I'm going to do that. Because I can't ask him. I can't ask him again. Hey, last chance. Apologize now. I can't do that. So yeah, I'm going to start revoking titles from him. So I'm going to take that one first and foremost. Because I think that that's this one here now, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I now have this one here. Which is good. Is Now, that's a castle, right? That's not a city, is it? No. No, that's a castle. Right, okay. So, yeah, I can keep that. That's fine. Okay. Now, if I was to take more off of him will that now the other vassal start to get annoyed by that yeah right but what ones so where's this one is that the one in right that's in my realm anyway so yeah I can take that that's here as well that's here as well. And that's the one in Damascus. Okay. Now, I don't like this guy. But, what I think I'm going to do... Right, I can't antagonise him because he's a prisoner. Right, okay. Because I was going to say, what I could have do, done is antagonise him. And every time he insults me, I take that as a new insult and take something else off of him. That would be an option. But... I don't... I, I can't do that, clearly. Hmm. Where are you... You're in my realm as well, so maybe I could use you as well. Or what I could do for temperance reasons, this this would this 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 I think is legit as well. For for temperance, what I could do is I could take all of his possessions off of him and then I could then put him under house arrest or I could just let him go after that and say, that's your punishment. Your punishment is you no longer have any titles because you tried, you were, you were back in a plot to try and kill me. 
and I gave you the chance to say, no, okay, I'll stop doing that. That's that's ridiculous. You're right. But you specifically spat in my face. Is that the kind of thing that... I think it is. I think I'm going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to take all of your titles from you. And then... And then I'm going to let you go. Because you have no power anymore. You have nothing anymore. You are no threat to me whatsoever. I might as well ransom you. Take your money as well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that that's a good decision. I, I think that that makes a lot of sense. If you disagree please go down in the comments and let me know that you disagree with that and I will give him some of his titles back I will hold on to them for the time being right now until I hear something from you so if you if you disagree and think I need to give him his titles back let me know in the comments and I will next episode go back and give him some give him his titles back. I think taking taking one of them specifically I think is legit. But if you don't think I should have taken all of them, let me know. I will give I will give him his titles back. I will mark him as a character of special interest actually. There we go. So I can find him easily. I will give him his titles back and I will give him recompense and compensation. If you think that that's the right thing to do. If not, then I need to give away these titles because I'm pretty sure I have uh, titles that I'm not supposed to have, right? The mosques, I don't think I'm supposed to own the mosques, right? But anyway, let me know. But I think that that's, I think that that's legit. I think that that's a perfectly fine thing that I've just done there. Apparently, he has refused to pay ransom. So what I will do, I think that's probably because I've taken all these titles away from him and he's not going to pay anymore. Uh, how much is your ransom? It's not going to let me do it again right now, is it? Uh, no. I think because you don't have the money to do it anymore, right? Okay, so I can banish him. That's something I could do as well. What I'm going to do right now is I can I'm going to put him under house arrest for the time being because I'm okay doing that. I'm going to put him under house arrest, but again, depending on what you guys let me know in the comments, I'm either going to leave him there, give him his titles back and then let him go, or if I don't hear anything, I'm going to banish him next time. Because I think if he doesn't want to pay ransom, he can't live in my realm. He has to go. So that's what I'm going to do for the time being. Now, the problem is, is I'm pretty sure that's probably just absolutely tanked everyone's opinion of me, hasn't it? Yeah, everyone hates me now. Right, okay, so that's tough, but yeah, I don't, well, I mean, you hate me anyway because you want to be on the council, don't you? So, but I can't do anything with that just yet anyway, because I already said that I wasn't going to change council positions for now. So you're even worse. You don't do. You're you are completely incompetent now. You don't do anything. So yeah, how old are you? Fifty-seven. So hopefully you don't have much longer to be around, and I can actually replace you with you know, not necessarily someone decent, but someone I like and someone I trust. That's the that's the important thing. That's what that role 
needs to be. It needs to be someone I like and someone I trust. That's what a, 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 a vizier and advisor is. But yeah, we're not going to be changing council positions willy-nilly, but... I don't want to bring you back yet to improve yeah relations because a you're not going to do a very good job of it anyway and b i don't trust you in my head cannon obviously so this is something we need to keep an eye on hopefully we can start to bring everyone's opinions back up after that oh also last thing i wanted to point out uh we have forts now we have forts up here so yeah this is the uh these are the first forts that we have. We have one in uh, pretty much all of our realms that we have. I haven't built one in anyone else's. I mean, I can, but I, I haven't bothered yet. Um, I wanted to try and get all of the things that I wanted to do in my realm first. But yeah, we have forts in all of our realms. That helps with um, security and safety. The So if invaders come through, they have to siege down the fort before they can siege down anything else. So it just saves you a little bit of time, gives you a little bit of a, an opportunity to get more troops there. So yeah, that's uh that's 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 something we have now. We have we have new forts in place everywhere. Just uh thought I'd point that out. That's something new that we haven't had in this game before. And I have a son. I have a new son. Uh, also, castle fortifications have been built in all the places that I built them. But the most important thing, I have a son. What we want to call him Hafiz. That is what we want to call our brand new son. There is nothing particularly special about him right now. But we have a son who I don't like as much as I should. That's very odd. But there you go. So we have a new heir, which means my uncle is going to be even more annoyed now. Because he is no longer heir. So, that is something that uh, is uh, a little bit more dangerous. Uh, he's he's probably going to start coming under a little bit of a threat, I think. So, that's something that we need to keep an eye on, I think. But, yeah, new, new player air, new son. Uh, that does change what I'm going to be doing. First thing I want to look at, my opinion of my wife has gone down quite a lot. And I don't love my son as much as I thought I was going to. So, I think I'm going to, first and foremost, go out and find myself a new wife. So, hold on just a moment. Uh, no, I am not going to find a new wife, actually, because, uh, yeah, there's no one out there that I like enough. So, yeah, there's a, that, that, that's the problem. I'm, I don't really like anyone enough right now, so I guess that that's just not what I'm thinking about right now I'm concentrating on other stuff I don't know what because I don't really have an ambition so uh, yeah I don't I mean groom and air maybe but I don't know I mean do I I don't I don't really maybe if I liked him more then I would think about it but right now again I still don't think I have an ambition but yeah, so we have a new son, but we don't have a new wife just yet because apparently I don't like anyone enough. So that will have to wait for the time being, I guess. Oh, I think I'm about to become shy. It started as an uneasiness around guests and strangers, then evolved into awkwardness and a strong feeling of discomfort. I don't want to meet any new people. 20% are getting try. I'll just have to be more gregarious. 50% chance I gain the trait stress, 45% chance I gain the trait gregarious. Right, well, what cynical would suggest I would be more shy? Temperate wouldn't go with gregarious. Uncouth would. I think, yeah, two, I think two outweigh the one. So am I going to become shy? I didn't become shy anyway, so that's fine. That's not a problem. But yeah, oh, MMOs is a little bit more withdrawn, which definitely means he doesn't want to make a friend. That's 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 for sure. He's a, he's a little bit more of a withdrawn guy. Also, I'm trying to sway someone, which means I probably want to stop doing that. Do I? I, don't, I haven't actually become shy. 
If I became shy, then I would stop that. But for the time being, I'm going to keep that going just because I'm not shy just yet. I think we are about to have a rebellion. There is a dangerous faction. It's the guy in Esfahan who should never have had this in the first place. I still don't know how he managed to get his poxy hands on this because it went to... Was it my grandmother or my great-grandmother or something like that? And then she passed it on completely out of my hands. This was originally my realm and he took it from me. But my marshal was also joined. And they're uh, pretty strong. 3,145 men. I can only get 4,200. So they're pretty strong. I don't think I can afford mercenaries now because I've just been on a spending spree as well. So yeah, it's uh I think I think this is about to break out. I mean the good thing is is if I win that, then obviously I can strip this title from him and get that back into my realm and also get rid of you from my council. But it's gonna be tough. It's going to be very, very, very tough. So I'm expecting that to break out any time now, to be honest with you. So, I mean, they are only asking for increased council power. So I guess, I mean, I could do that. I could let them have the increased council power. I mean, he's not even on the council, so I don't get why he cares. Prince of Espana, you're not actually the next in line, are you? Who is currently the... Oh, he might be actually. Who's the current... Prince, uh, no, it wouldn't be Prince, would it? Sorry, it'll be right. You're not the heir, okay? How far away are you? You are nowhere in the line of succession, okay? That's fine. So, we're not gonna, we're not gonna lose that realm completely anyway. But yeah, I mean, all they want is increased council power. So, am I the kind of guy that would give them? Increased council power. I mean, I'm already letting my council pretty much do everything while I'm away up here on campaign anyway. So maybe I'm the kind of guy that would actually let them have council power. We'll have to wait and see when that rises. I think it's going to probably kick off any time now, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Apparently, I'm now known as the wise. Not sure. I mean, it's probably because I'm on a scholarship focus, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not sure that my uh, my my realm would agree with you. I don't think they think I'm very wise at all. Uh, yeah, n pretty much no one is paying me any tax at the moment. Which is, uh, that's because I'm over my domain size. So, um, the money is kind of just dropped at the moment because of that. Um, I mean, I guess I could give away the realm I was going to to my son now. But the problem is, is that, yeah, I don't want to give away the titles just yet. Because I don't know what you guys want me to do about that yet. So that's why I'm not getting any money at the moment because I want to hold fire until I've been, able, been given the chance to read the comments. But yeah, apparently I'm now known as the wise. Not sure everyone else would agree with you, but there we are. Huh. Not quite sure how this works. So this guy that I took all of the titles off has apparently left my court to go to the sheikdom of Sana down here. That, but he's not because he's in my prison. Well, he's not, he's under house arrest. 
in my realm. So, I'm guessing he said that he's not part of my realm anymore. But he hasn't actually left. Maybe that's where his wife is? Yeah, I think she's left to go down here. So that means that he's now part of it, but he's not. He is currently being held under house arrest in my capital. So, that's fun and interesting. So this guy's gone anyway. Will they ransom him now? They will now ransom him for 10 gold. Okay. So I'm now going to ransom him. But again, like I said, I'm going to leave him under special interest. And if you think I need to give his titles back, then I will. But right now, we're just going to ransom him. My uncle is now specifically sabotaging me in my own realm. So, a vassal of mine, he is now messing it up here. He's not even supposed to be here. He's supposed to be all the way up here. But apparently not. Apparently he's messing up stuff in my own realm now. So he's going to make this guy like me even less oh the uh yeah the realm is really starting to hate me i mean pretty much all my vassals apart from two uh dislike me and i, I think my uncle i would say my uncle dislikes me as well and the other one's my mum and the court is not looking great either. I mean, there are more people in my own realm that like me, but my vassals don't. So, yeah. Oh, and these threats are getting quite big. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one's going to kick off any time now because they are now at 106% of my strength. So... Yeah, it's not looking good. I think this one's going to kick off any time now, to be honest with you. My uncle died. My uncle just died. He is gone. He has left this mortal coil. My cousin is now in charge, but he hates me. But he's under a region of that mayor who doesn't like me, right? Are you the same one? I think you're the same one that doesn't like me, right? Yeah. But he can't do anything at the moment because he is too young and he is a regent. So there's nothing he can do to me right now. But my uncle is gone, which means that I can start getting the council back on my side a little bit. This might be where we start to turn the corner. This might be where we start to turn. So we now need to find a new Grand Vizier. Everyone's rubbish. Nobody likes me. Oh, damn. Right, 12. 25. I like you more. I think 25 is probably going to be the highest, I imagine, right? I mean, you like me, but you're not... I don't like you as much, and you're not as good. Yeah, I think it's going to be 25, isn't it? Yeah, so it's going to be you, which is the guy I'm currently trying to sway because I liked him enough. It's not exactly what you're good at, but you'll do. So you come in as my vassal. I need you to perform statecraft because I need you to start getting people to like me a little bit more. Now, I like you and I trust you, so I think I'm going to ask you to start helping me with my titles now. That reduces some of my threat as well. Hopefully, that also means that I'm going to start getting a little bit of tax. Yeah, a little bit. Not a lot. Not a lot but a little bit of tax from you guys now. So that's good. Also, we, no, I don't want to do that yet. I'm waiting to hear from you guys what we want to do with regards to that. So, okay, 
Okay, this might be where we start to turn the corner a little bit. Hopefully, we can start getting people round to our way of thinking. Hopefully. Ah, there you go. It's starting to pay off already. My Grand Vizier has improved relations with Sheikh Idris of Bahrain. You shouldn't even be here. You shouldn't even have any power anyway, damn you. I don't even know how you got this realm. Screw you. But he's improving his relationships with me. So hopefully all of all this is doing is just lowering my threat a little bit more. My spy master is now on side as well. That's good. Might put you back to scheming. Don't trust you enough to do so just yet. But, okay, threat is still very high. Factions are getting stronger. I haven't quite turned the corner. But, hopefully it's starting to. You know what I've just thought? Now that my uncle died and I have a new Grand Vizier, maybe I would start changing the council. I mean, I wouldn't want you anyway, because I don't want this... Uh, I mean, now that I have one in place, though, would I? I would know to keep one in place, right? Anyway, would I start changing the council, though? I mean, I I'm temperate, but I've tempered myself for a long time. I mean, what? Six years now. I haven't changed anyone on the council, and my. My uncle is now gone. He's now no longer in charge. Maybe it's time I start doing this a little bit. Like, for you, for instance, I don't like you. You don't like me. And I know that you're in a faction against me. Using your position. Oh, it's gone down. Using your position specifically to try to outmaneuver me so I definitely think that I want to replace you for sure I like you more so I, I definitely think I want to get rid of you but the thing is is I, I also know that I'm a uh, I'm a, I'm a military kind of guy. I'm a brilliant strategist. Do I know I would want someone, like, doing the best that they could do? Could I go out and get someone better? I'm going to look to see if there's someone better who I like more in the world quickly. I'll be back. Okay, so this guy is better... But I don't think he is better enough or I like him more in order to bring him in. Like, 21 to 19 isn't high enough. It's only two points. 17 to 14 isn't high enough. So I think I am going to bring this guy in. He is a brilliant strategist also. Yeah, I'm going to bring this guy into my realm. Now, I don't know what that's done. That's increased my threat again. But he's now no longer the marshal. So hopefully that will decrease the power over time. But yeah, I, I think that that makes sense. I, I, I think that I would start doing that now because I've tempered my restraint for a very long time. My uncle is now dead. This guy was specifically plotting against me. 
So yeah, I think I would do that. You, you, I like you well enough to keep you here right now. You're not in a faction, right? No. You're okay. So you can stay where you are for the time being. You can still administer the realm as well because I'm not here right now. You, I like you well enough. You, I don't particularly like you, but I can't change you right now. So we will leave leave you where you are but apparently that's given me a minor title because that's taken out a commander yeah so i now have a commander position i can give i could give it to you or i could keep it for the time being could give it to you as well give you an honorary title because you're not actually on the council but you actually have a title and you're plotting against me so why would I do that you're my kinsman but I don't particularly like you so I think it'll be you anyway you're pretty high in martial and you're skilled tactician so yeah I'm gonna make you a commander hopefully that likes that makes you like me even more now yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that I am happy with that right now. Where are you as well? You're next door right now, okay. Yeah, okay. Um I, I think I'm pretty happy with all of that right now and I think that that makes a lot of sense as well let's just hope that hasn't absolutely destroyed it and now that rebellion is definitely going to rise up my wife is pregnant again that's good so my opinion's gone way back up of her again because she's carrying my baby but you know hopefully we get an heir and a spare that would be very good um that helps. You want to make a marriage. Who is this? My courtier, Rashwana. You are just a nobody. I don't really care. I am related to you, but I can't remember how now. But yeah, sure. I will allow that to happen. Why not? Yep, you go ahead. That will hopefully just increase your opinion of me even more because you're next door to me. So that helps. Uh, the peasants of Al Hassa spend a long time on the road in order to meet with the Imams, or so your court Imam Abdullah claims. He suggests that it would be in your interest to construct local shrines. In that way, the peasants would not have to travel far in order to worship. Right. Now, I am cynical. So therefore, I would be like, why do we want shrines? But I also have sympathy for religions. So I would also think... Yeah, okay, let the people do what they want to do. And I'm also temperate, so I would be like, you know what? It's not up to me to decide. I have nothing wrong with the people either. I, I'm not cruel. I'm not wrathful. I don't care about that. I have a meh opinion of this guy, so I don't really care. I think I would do that. Because that seems like the kind of thing that I would do. Because I have religious sympathies, even though I am cynical. So yeah, I'm happy to do that. That's fine by me. Uh, okay, and I'm just trying to sway this guy more. And I had a daughter this time. So no heir and a spare. But, you know, a daughter is not the end of the world. Um, I like her the same as I like my son. Seems to be the pretty standard. Uh, Samira, we want to call her. Okay, that's fair enough. But, yep, there you go, a daughter. So, not quite an heir and a spare, but, I mean, a daughter can be useful, I guess. That helps. Uh, terrain is key to winning battles. If I focus my studies, I believe I can master the tactics of one type of terrain. Open plains, forests, mountains, or desert. Right, now, I'm pretty sure... I've been fighting up here a lot in this kind of area. 
and I'm pretty sure this is all steps, which is basically plains, right? There's no, yeah, there's, there's, I mean, there are mountains around here as well. This is where I currently am right now, which is in the mountains. So maybe mountainous terrain, but I'm also in charge of camels, which would suggest desert warfare. I think it could be one of three, because I fought a lot around here, had a lot of practice around this area. We were fighting a lot around here, and I saw myself over here. That's desert. Okay. And all of this is basically plains and hills and step, which is basically plains. So I think that that could be a possibility, because I've been fighting there a lot. Mountains, because I'm currently there right now, but I don't know how long I've been here for. And desert warfare, because I'm riding camels. By the way, yeah, absolutely smashed my retinue apart. Jesus, I mean that was what 250 it was, right? It was up at like it was down to like 40 at one point. It's completely destroyed my retinue, which you know sucks. Uh, but yeah, I think that right, I haven't been fighting in deserts even though I'm riding camels, so I think that I will get rid of that for the time being. Why are you no longer attaching? I don't know. Uh, so I think I'm going to get rid of that. Mountains, I don't know how long I've been here. So I think I'm going to go with flat terrain. Because that's where I've been fighting the most recently, I think. I mean, rough terrain is just forests and hills. Flat terrain is plains, farmland, and steppe. And I've been around here, which is predominantly steppe and far and plains. So yeah, I'm going to go with flat terrain expert. I think that that makes a lot of sense. So I am now a flat terrain expert, even though none of my area is going to be plains and steppes. It's all mountains and stuff, but I haven't been here. That's the problem. I haven't been fighting here. So I'm not going to get any bonuses here which sucks, but it would suggest that that is, you know, I've learnt in that area, so that's therefore that's why I've become an expert in that area. Again, just a simple reason of not playing the game optimally. Optimally, I would definitely have chosen deserts or, yeah, desert predominantly. Most of the stuff around here is deserts, maybe mountains, but predominantly desert. But that's not where I've been. That's not where Merza's been. Merza has been on the plains. So he's become a step and a plains expert. He's become an expert in flat terrain because that's where he's been fighting for the past six or seven years. Okay, so here's one. Uh, my wife has come in to the room to help me uh, plan for war. She's going to help me plan for war. I'm a very... I'm a brilliant strategist, plus my opinion is not fantastically high of her. So I think I'm going to tell her to go shove one, because how dare you tell me how to fight a war? Who are you? What do you, what do you know about war? You're, you're, a, you're a tough soldier. You're a grunt. I am the strategist here, so don't talk to me about that, alright? Uh, there is a 30% chance I'm going to become proud. And I did. I have become proud. Pride, superbia, is the seventh deadly sin according to the church. However, proud characters tend to be ambitious and work hard to increase their prestige. So I am now proud, which means prestige is starting to become a little bit of a uh, big thing for me now. So what's the biggest one? Wives. Fewer than three wives is the one that's killing me right now. So I need to try and increase my prestige a little bit through that also does that now change an ambition uh acquire a title is prestigious becoming king is prestigious yeah uh what's my opinion of my liege quite high he likes me quite a lot as well maybe we should go for that first pride yeah so it's prestige mainly uh 
does say ambitious, but I don't actually have the ambitious trait, and I know that that is a, a trait in this game, so I don't think I want to just take that as gospel right now. But I think more titles will equal more prestige, right, maybe? Held baronies, held counties, held duchies, vassal baronies, vassal counties, yeah. But, I also have a problem with that right now. But I wouldn't think about that though, would I? No, I'm gonna, I think that that's probably the... Let's see if I can acquire some more land first. We're gonna ask the liege. It's going to cost me prestige though. So I don't want to do that much. I'm going to do it. I'm going to maybe do it three times. If we don't get it after the third time, then I think I'm going to cancel that and go to maybe the king of Arabia. But we'll see with that right now. But yeah, so there we go. We are we are now um, proud because my wife thought that she could teach me a thing or two about warfare. He says no. So that's the first one. Okay. So we're going to hold fire for now. We'll ask him again. But yeah, he said no. Uh, right, you're looking to rise up. Uh, as a revolt. I don't like you that much, far less than I like my liege, so I shall decline and you're about to wipe out my entire force, aren't you? Son of a bitch. Crap. Okay, uh, can you get out of there? Just get out. Just get out. That's all I want you to do. Just get out. Just retreat. You're gonna get wiped out to the last man aren't you yep my entire retinue just got wiped out crap now I need to figure out whether I want to rebuild that retinue or not let's have a look uh, right trying to sway you first uh, I'll write him a letter about me I am proud now so I would might do that Send a statue. Uh, I am going to write him a letter about me. I don't think he's going to like that very much. Oh, he was. Okay, that's good. His opinion of me is going up and up and up, which is good. I'm very happy about that. But yeah, now we need to see whether we want to redo the retinue. I have an important decision. Uh, I can ask for help managing my titles again. Uh, so we will do that. That lowers my threat a little bit. That's good. Um, yeah. Uh, retinue, retinue, retinue. So the retinue's completely gone. It got wiped out entirely. So I can build a new retinue. But I don't know if I want to build it the same. I'm a defender now, aren't I? And a flat terrain expert. So maybe I don't want to build camels anymore. It's going to cost a lot of money. Heavy infantry, heavy infantry and archers. Pikemen and archers. Cavalry. Light infantry and archers. Who gets the best stats in planes, steps and planes, for instance? I don't know who gets the best statistics in each one. I'm just going to take a quick look and see. I'm not entirely sure, you know, but I think that heavy infantry would suit me more because defender. I think. 
think that that might be make more sense. I think the infantry would probably be where I want to go first. How much is that? Retinue cap 700 out of 950. So I might actually be able to get the pikeman as well. I doubt it. No, that's 725. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to afford two, am I? No, they're all too much. Yeah, I think that I think that might be where I want to go, but I think I might wait until this nonsense has calmed down a little bit, because I think I'm probably going to be, yeah, I'm going to be commanding these troops up here right now. So I have troops right now, I might as well leave it for the time being, so I think that after this nonsense dies down, that's when I might rebuild my retinue, I think. I inherited another mosque. <laughs> That's not helpful. Oh, I'm trying to get rid of places and you've just given me another new one. So, yeah. Uh, that That is a... <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> but yeah, more titles. Uh, I guess that that helps more with pride, I guess. Um... You want to marry my sister. You want to marry them to the Prince of Yemen. So that's going to be down here kind of area. Uh, I don't have a terrible opinion of you. But here's the thing. This is what I was going to talk about when I was talking about my son and everything like that as well. I was forced to marry when I was a kid. Therefore, I don't think I want to force someone to marry someone that they might not like. So I think that I'm good. I'm not actually, because this was what I was going to do when it came to my heir. I haven't got around to this yet, but this is something that I want to talk about. I don't think I'm going to get them, them uh, engaged. I think it's going to be up to them to decide what they want to do with their life. Because I was forced to do that. So therefore, I don't want to force that upon someone else. Because it wasn't my it wasn't my mum, it wasn't my dad that did that. They didn't they didn't do do that for me. It was my grandmother, first and foremost, and then it was my uncle. Both of whom, I think, had ulterior motives for doing it. So therefore, I'm going to grow up and raise my family differently. I'm not going to force them to marry if they don't want to. Especially not to someone that they might not like. So that's the first thing that I was going to say. The other thing is... Is that I was... Taken away from my family. From my dad. Early. My mum took us away, she broke up our family to go and live in another realm then I was given the realm so I was on my own and that allowed the sneaky people, my grandmother and my uncle to get their grubby little mitts on me and do what they wanted with me so I'm going to keep my children close they are going to remain close to me I am not going to let them suffer the way I suffered. I was hoping I was going to like my kids more so that I could kind of write that into a little bit. I mean, I like him well enough. I mean, 50 is quite high. I mean, almost 60. So I want to keep them close to me, my, my kids. So I'm currently on the war focus right now because I am constantly at war right now but there might come a time where I might want to move into family focus for that reason but yeah I the long story short I'm going to decline this 
because she is my sister. She's a member of my family. She's not some random person that I don't know. So therefore, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them close. Also, now that I've spoken about that, I might as well do this with my with my with my kids now. Um, so the focus, I'm gonna keep them on. Um, I'm gonna teach him to be proud. And also, I'm gonna make. I'm going to look after him myself because, yeah, I want to keep my family close. That's the whole point. Uh, he's not gonna go off. He's not gonna be taken away from me. He's gonna stick close to me. I'm gonna guide him through and help him, and you know, show him. You know, this is this is how to be something the reason i'm putting him on on that is because a i'm i'm a proud person b i'm also a brilliant strategist marshal is my highest stat so that's why i'm going to do that but yeah i'm also not going to be giving them their own land yet not until they're adults because yeah i want to i want to make sure that no one gets their their sticky little fingers all over them like they did with me if that makes sense my wife is pregnant again but but i was away wasn't i oh dear yeah i was uh i was up here fighting but then i've always been up here fighting so why am i just questioning this one now i'm guessing it's because my opinion has started to sour with my with my uh, wife uh, but yeah uh, I don't know why I'm questioning this one now because I've always been away but apparently doubt besets me so not particularly enthralled about that I've thought it over and I cannot be the father of my wife Peimani's baby as it grows in her belly I have trouble sleeping I must put this matter to rest hire someone to find out no I trust her word my opinion of her is okay that's you know 15 I would say is a cut off point so it's all right but I am a proud cynical person so that would suggest yes temperate would suggest no shrewd and uncouth uncouth would suggest yes probably not really anything else in me yeah i think i would hire someone to find out at least and we'll see where we go from there because uh, the maid i paid to spy on my wife has confirmed my suspicions sultan hussein at the bama kid sultanate is Paimen's lover and the real father of the child who are you Sultan of Dilam, where is that? Where are you? Somewhere around here. Where is Dilam? The Burmakid Sultanate. Is it this one? Nope. You're around here somewhere. But I don't know where. Maybe this. I don't know. I don't know where you are. Do you actually have a title? Right, so this is. Right, okay, so you rule this. But you're currently in the rebellion, maybe? I don't know. No, you're not, but you're fighting. You're you're the marshal. That's why you're in Damascus. Right, okay. Right, well, oh dear. Right, well, I don't like you, obviously. Uh, you are uh, on a seduction focus, so that makes sense. Uh, by the greatest, I better keep this quiet. I don't think I would keep that quiet, though, would I? Yeah, I, I I don't know why I would keep that secret. 
Because I'm proud. I like her, but do, I don't like her enough to keep that secret. Ooh, tough. I think I'm going to leave this on a bit of a cliffhanger. Right here. So we must decide what we're going to do next time, I think, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe you guys can let me know a little bit. I'm leaning towards letting it known. But maybe my opinion is high enough of her, of my wife, that you think that maybe I would keep that quiet. But I think that that's another thing you should try and let me know in the comments to this video. Let me know what you think I should do. And that is what we shall do next time. I want to thank you for joining me today. I certainly hope that you join me for that next time. But until then, I bid you all adieu, a good day. And a massive GG to you all. You have been watching a Rich Tea Entertainment production. For more great shows, why not check out another of our YouTube channels by clicking the link. Or for a taste of what's on offer, check out this video. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more.